medial approach to the hip, an alternative method to approach the hip joint. Indications. Upon reduction of our congenital dislocations of the hip. Psoas release. Inferior neck biopsy. Obturator neurectomy and decompression. Positioning. Patient lies in supine. Positioning the patient for medial approach to the hip. The patient is supine and the hip is isolated to able to flex, adduct, and rotate the hip if necessary. During the procedure, care should be taken to isolate at the groin and perineum because the, this approach places surgical field close to this area of contamination. Dangers. Nerves. Anterior division of the obturator nerve Posterior division of the obturator nerve. No inter, in, internervous plane is exploited by the approach, but the nerve innervation lies proximal to the dissection. Vessels, medial femoral circumflex artery. Landmarks, quick tubercule and adductor tendons. Incision, see figure. Palpate the tendon of the adductor longus and the mark its location. Mark the pubic tubercle. Make a medial incision based two to three centimeter from the pubic tubercle over the tendon of the adductor longus. See figure. Superficial dissection. Incise the skin and subcutaneous tissue to the overlying fascia of the adductor longus and gracilis muscle. The superficial dissection can be developed by blood dissection using the fascial plane between the adductor longus and the gracilis. See figure. Deep dissection. Deeper in this plane, the dissection is continued between the adductor longus Posteriorly and the adductor brevis anteriorly. See the anterior branches of the obturator nerve. The anterior branch of the obturator nerve has segmental branches that innervate the adductor magnus muscle at this level. And care should be taken not to have excessive retraction at this level. As you see in the figure, retract the adductor longus anteriorly, gracilis posteriorly, and you can see the anterior branches of the obturator nerve, as I show in this, this uh, cursor. And we must be very careful to, when we retract the muscles. Deep dissection continued. The adductor brevis is retracted. Anteriorly, revealing the posterior branches of the obturator nerve over the adductor magnus. The lesser trochanter is revealed in the superior aspect of the surgical field. Now, lesser trochanter is now visible with the pusoas tendon. I can explain now. This is adductor longus, this is gracilis. Next time, you can see this adductor magnus and posterior branches of the uh, obturator nerve, and in this side, you can see adductor brevis. Deep dissection. The medial aspect of the hip capsule can now be bluntly cleared of the prepared for an arthrotomy, depending on the procedure being performed. As you see, now I am showing it's adductor longus and uh, behind this adductor longus, this deep side, adductor brevis retracted, and iliopsoas with trochanter minus, adductor magnus and gracilis. Gracilis is superficial, adductor magnus is deeper. 
the deep dissection continued. The medial aspect of the hip capsule can now bluntly cleared of the and prepared for arthrotomy, depending on the procedure being performed. You can see this is iliopsoas, as I described before. This is adductor brevis, over it adductor longus, and gracilis, and behind it adductor magnus, iliopsoas, and joint capsule. Now you can open joint capsule and you can do whatever you want. Joint aspiration, if for septic artery arthrotomy, or uh, if biopsy, you can take biopsy here. If you make want to make an iliopsoas tenotomy, you can make iliopsoas tenotomy. Uh, and if, if just like uh, development hip dysplasia, you can make your uh, due from this interval. What are the, how we can, we're gonna close this because intermuscular pins are used deeply, only superficial fascia and subcutan tissues need to be repaired. Aside from any procedure specific capsular closure if capsule is violated. Extensional measures, usually this exposure don't have extensional, extensional measures. Thanks for watching my video. Do not forget to subscribe my nonprofit channel.